better reproduction rates lead to better carcass quality. Among ranchers, the number one reason for culling cows is just because they're open. When we deal with poor reproduction, we're not making the management decision. Mother Nature's making it for us. And so when we actually get our reproduction up where we have high levels of reproduction, now we can come in and select animals if her calf, if consistently her calves don't perform well. Well, it doesn't matter if she's open or pregnant, we can still have a chance to cull her because we can still maintain our herd inventory and fertility's not making our management decisions for us. In his work with several South Dakota herds, Perry has found that once fertility is at a certain level, producers can start fine tuning their herds. Take cattleman John Mose, for example. In the past five years, he's actually brought all of his calf crop up carcass wise to the level that his highest performers were five years ago. And so we've actually seen an improvement through genetic selection in marbling, percent choice, percent prime, moving the whole herd up and getting a better quality product by combining those uh, genetics. And one of the things both herds have been able to do is really select replacement heifers to go back into their herd. In addition to using AI, they're adding the genetics back in that way by selecting replacement heifers that are really from these top quality AI sires. Mose says the key to his progress has been data. Like someone says, how come you're always weighing these cattle? How come you're always doing this? Well, we can go back and with records, you can't have enough records. But with them records, we can go back and say, okay, this cow has been in the herd in longevity. Uh, on reproduction, it's very important to have them records because you can take and say, okay, this cow's longevity, she's been in the herd for seven, eight years. Okay, you'll probably more than likely, if she's got to have her calf, you'll keep her back. The past few years' carcass data helps him hone in on which heifers to retain, and Moe's recently added the GeneMax DNA test as an additional selection criteria. All of that wouldn't be possible without first getting a handle on reproduction. Cindy Campbell reporting.